to oh. just say that they are, but no, no, I don't is... know the lore. You can't do that to me. <laughs> the lore, eh, you know, good enough, right? But we're actually going to be seeing the Zomba Cloud. So yeah, this Ooh, is the character okay. that he's been picking up lately, you know, through some matchups, but also, you know, just to get a little bit of practice in with him. Right, so Cloud V Bayonetta, certainly a nostalgia pick for the Smash yeah. foreheads out there. Normally I would even say that, but like, it's it's a little too on the nose at this point, right? <laughs> yeah. But like, oh, love the back of wow. the immediate spike. Oh my goodness. Only one person, one. Just one. One, that's it. Five or six percent, or just one. <laughs> Only oh, 20 seconds. And Amarilla still has not been able to answer. Thrown out the witch time, Zamba not biting. Not even able to get anything out of the bats within, but finally just gets the side beat. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, okay. And again, like Zamba, just such good matchup knowledge. Dash back to ABK what? range, able to get the parry and then set up a kill out of it. Just showing off, you know, how light Bayonetta can be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just dying off the top so soon. Zamba only at 17. And it doesn't stop. He's he's cooking. Absolutely not. Finally, Amaryllis gets a chance to play the video game. Oh, but catches uh, caught them swinging a little bit too far. Gets a blade beam for their troubles. <laughs> Okay, but now just going to be keeping Amarillo stuck at the ledge once again. Zomba just walking away, looking for that jump call out. He's not going to be able to find it. Phenomenal down angled ABK into the four really good damage. And has the right idea with the F smash. But yeah, Zomba just successfully air dodging, landing. And now look, this is a huge lead. You can't blow this. Absolutely. And I love the way that Zomba adapted to the way that Amarillo uh, stalled their recovery last time. Last time Amarillo did a lot of, you know, stalling at the ledge. That time Zomba just took the time yeah. to charge limit. But Amarillo's finally on the board with a stock, but 95% on their last stock of game yeah. one. Okay, but now, you know, finally able to do some bait and other things, immediately going through the reset, backing off a little bit, and you know what? Nothing to complain about. 66 is still 66 after all. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Zamba just keeps on, you know, like SDIing and holding in. He's not getting set up into F like any offstage situations at all. And as a result, Amarillo's is struggling to kill. Yeah, great patience there on the ledge, waiting oh. out the blade beam. And this could be another kill for Please. Amaryllis. It is. Amaryllis bringing this to even stocks after such a forceful start from Zamba. Yeah, that witch twist was just like an anti and a half, but oh what my goodness. What a catch. No oh, way. Oh, you cheated. Oh, you little no cheater. No way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Zamba smoking on his phone right? already. Uh, oh, he's, he's got the tweet on lockdown. Wow. Kev, I love you. Amaryllis, I love you. But... Oh, 30, whoa, 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 whoa. That was, whoa. that's cheating. Yeah, quite a bit. Just absolutely unapologetic cheating to the to the fullest extent. And you know what? Such is, such is the beauty of Ultimate. Sometimes at 31%, you can actually hit that. Now granted, I will say, that is the second time that uh, they were able to actually get that kind of a witch twist. Mm -hmm. Zamba was consistently double jumping back onto the stage out of this advantage. Uh, we saw that the second stock as well. You know what? Amalilis was able to catch it both times, so going into the next game, uh, that was not how I thought it was going to go at all. Absolutely not. And, you know, coming into this, you got to. Amarillis has to be coming into this game too, feeling pretty good. After such. You know, they, they're coming in with all of the momentum right now, I believe. Okay. Going to be trying to get a foil, not going to be able to get it quite yet. Looking for the back hill, but uh, I gotta say, this is already a much more even game this time. Absolutely. Let's see. Zamba spacing out with these back airs, not able to find the side B right there. Ooh, all right, using the down air to catch Zamba's uppy and the charged guns to get Zamba's first stock. Already a much better game for Amaryllis than game one. You know, it's yeah. still coming in with all of this momentum. You have a pretty big lead too, you know. This is a really nice time just to play back a little bit. Just hold it for a second. Okay. Now just needs a way to get back onto the stage. This is where Cloud excels. Just able to dash back. That dash back was phenomenal, you know. Mm -hmm. He put himself in the best position. He reacted to the neutral get up and was able to get the kill as a result. So really good stuff to him there. Um, evening up the percent at this point as well. And now even with a slight lead. Yep. Amaryllis just playing things safe right now, but does fall into that side B. Now you're off stage again. Zama able to catch with the up air and another forward throw to put Amaryllis off stage. 
Has to burn the limit to get back. A phenomenal catch, that's it. Big Punisher foot, but actually gonna be pushing in too much with the foil. The Zamba, like, either holding in and just ultimate happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, Emma Gillis' advantage, they cut a little bit short. Mm, that up is a little bit too committal on Bayonetta Shield like that. You gotta be so careful because, like, which twist and, you know, ABK is, like, always a step away. Absolutely. All right, Limit just barely on deck for Zamba right now. There he goes, able to find it. See if he can do anything with it. Catches the yep. air dodge in. Nice reaction there by Zamba. Yeah, that was optimal, you know. Again, like typically that wouldn't kill, but it's Bayonetta and she's like pretty light, so mm -hmm. able to get it off. Up to him. Oh, able to get the soft up. Phenomenal stuff, just so much good damage. And again, like I feel like consistently, Zamba's advantage state has just been a little bit like more consistent and a little bit more foodful, but that time just jumping into the up smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, great witch twist by Amaryllis and still able to just barely scoop Zamba with that up smash. But 74% right now, Amaryllis has to be careful or get one of those really explosive combos like we saw in game one. I like the up finish, that was a pretty good idea. But now I'm just trying to catch the landing, not going to be able to get it in time. Dashing in, dashing out. And Mogilla's just going to be stuck in a coin, but Zamba resetting the situation by committing a little bit too much to that dash grab. Tries to go through the jump call out, he had the right idea, but was just a little bit too close and ended up getting abk Yep. On deck for Zamba, but Amaryllis finds another Witch Twist opportunity. Maybe gonna force Zamba to burn the limit, but no, Zamba's able to make it back. Oh, oh. Wow, what a pickup. Look at that little smug. Uh, right? <laughs> he looks so smug. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like this is just like ended in bizarre and anticlimactic yeah. ways, like both like game one and game two, you know? Because for all intents and purposes, I feel like, oh, we gotta talk about this for a second. Right? <laughs> Such is the tragedy of multi-hitch trading. Because, in, you know, usually, like, it's like, oh, damn, you know, like, a trade happened. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna both going to reset the situation. It's not that big of a deal. The real tragedy here is that the, one of the multi-hits of, like, up B is not going to send Zamba far away enough for him not to be able to do anything, right? Whereas he was able to get, like, a grounded spike. Yeah. He was able to get the bounce up. And, in fact, if anything, that made that whole thing <laughs> functional because it got him out of the lag of the down mm -hmm. Because the, the hit stun that you take through one of the multi-hits is so much less than that of the down -in. So Zamba yeah. just stayed cool in that situation, and he was able to make the most out of it. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic awareness. Anyway, coming in on our game three, this is Amaryllis' counterpick, Small Battlefield. Looking to maybe try and force a few more interactions. Yeah. Obvi obviously, we saw Amaryllis getting some explosive combos in the previous two games. Ooh. Just barely not able to get that down smash. But we can already see it working out for Amaryllis with a fairly clean lead over Zamba right now. But at ledge, able to ro just roll back into center stage. Mm -hmm. But oh my goodness, just going to be getting which time to into oblivion. And I love just, you know what, Amalilis just held it as long as they could. Just double checking that that is going to be able to kill and waiting for Zamba to get far away enough. Now, going to be looking for this next big opening. Committing wow. a I'm surprised that Smash wasn't able to punish that. Me too. But I mean, Amaryllis with another, another chance at life right now. I really like the patience there from Amaryllis. You know, just checking with the jab, uh, not trying to commit too much to anything. Off stage right now, Zamba has the chance to charge some limit. Yeah, we're well, seeing like some really like preemptive and exploitable button presses from Zamba specifically the down tilts and the up smashes. Zamba uh, has been getting punished on them consistently. Now Amaryllis tries to go through the same jump call out. Zamba mixing up his option, not double jumping, but just going through the immediate up B. Love that mix up, but oh, phenomenal SDI just gonna be falling out of it. Amaryllis right now almost lapping Zamba in percent. And yeah, this should be doing it. Very scary position for Zamba right now. Has to come back from ledge. A great call out there by Amaryllis. And wow. using the charged gun to get Zamba's second stock. Now two stocks over Zamba. The thing is that we can't even anticipate how this is gonna go because how it's gone up until this point has just been unpredictable. But well, you know what? One bayonetta chain is all that it's gonna be able to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin just gonna be moving on throughout winning side. That was just, that last game was so confident. Absolutely. Oh, you know what we just saw there? Oh, please tell us. Please tell the class mm -hmm. what this was. Why did why did why did Zamba got hit, get hit here? Ah. Oh. Somebody double jumped. Can't be doing that. 
Zamba consistently, every single time that he's like gotten hit like off stage, or they like hit into disadvantage, he's like always double jumping. And Bayonetta, uh, and like specifically Amaryllis in this case, was just able to consistently out to out, be it with like, you know, side beat. Well, we saw so many witch twists. We saw that game one especially. Right, so I feel like that's just like one big habit that like Zamba needs to adjust to like really work out, mm -hmm. um, you yeah. know, when continuing his cloud because that is the biggest struggle of cloud. How do you actually land a disadvantage? How do you actually get down properly? And it's it's a struggle. It's disadvantage for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and Amaryllis was thriving on those jump call outs. Mm -hmm. Yep, those are the biggest openings. You know, mm -hmm. they're just able to get um, get them, just able to land so much damage as a result. Um, so yeah, actually going to be making the bracket upset, but you know, Zamba just testing out a little something new uh, this time. So uh, I believe he's going to go gob throughout losing's bracket. Yeah, um, no, I did see a uh, tweet Zamba made about, you know,